What's up, everybody? Diesel here with yet another commentary. And this is a special commentary. Got some stuff I want to get off my chest. <laughs> oh, man, this shit is crazy. I would have never even expected this to even be a topic on any of my commentaries, to be quite honest. But sometimes you have to address... These, these weak ass people you call your your local community, your gaming scene, or competitive scene, or fucking we are the world type shit. I don't even know what to really call this, man. But this is, this is what it is. That's what it's about. So, um, it has come to my attention through our local Facebook group and various hearsay and, you know, rumblings in the grapevine that me and a few other of my, my cohorts, the Seattle Foot Clan, as well as some other OG players in the scene, are viewed as bullies. We are viewed as bullies, people. Bullies. Like, you know, like Nelson from fucking The Simpsons. You know what I mean? Like Roger Klotz. We're, that's, that's who we are, of the scene. You know? And about a week ago or so... We had a tournament, you know, our first tournament that we streamed since EOS, and we were commentating the Street Fighter event. You know, we really just weren't feeling the commentary, for one, I'll admit that. I do feel as if the matches were a bit sloppy, and I do feel like a lot of the matches that we stream are honestly very sloppy and disorganized, but uh, that was definitely reflective within the commentary, and so the commentary basically, all it did, in essence, was just kind of just reveal what's always been the case here for, for for quite some time, and it's just things here are really fucking like like pussified around here, man. It's like it's not like a competitive scene. It's not a um. It's not really anything like that. And I, I'm gonna show you what it was we said. I mean, just some of what we said, because uh, obviously that 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 a whole video in and of itself, but. Um, here's what was said, and you and you let me know if this was completely terrible or if this warranted us being called uh, bullies and stuff like that. <laughs> oh, so we're so I've already seen this match earlier, and it's gonna be some Cirque du Soleil shit. They're just gonna be doing all kinds of aerial acrobats, and that's about all. I can't really like. You're not gonna see a lot of combos. You're just gonna see. Let me throw some shit out and try to hit you. If this if this resets, I honestly think we shouldn't stream it. Oh no, I'm telling you, if Five Mike Wine wins this set, we'd be kicking him off that that stream setup. Because <laughs> we're losing streamers, viewers. No, we're pretty stagnant right now. No, we're losing all of our viewers to FGTV. What? <laughs> our viewers are going to FGTV. Want to play a, a good game? Yeah. Oh, oh my god. Like that's gonna work? No, it never does. Oh, oh. Okay. We got two. Yeah. Fine like wine, please stop just doing Hail Mary yeah. Ultras. Stay calm. <laughs> and, and there it is. There, that's 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 what was said. Uh, that's what sent a lot of these these new players into a into a frenzy. And you know that kind of shit is just so whack, man. This is like the same, like... This is like the same culture now that wears, like... These fucking, like, headphones and shit to, like, block out noise. They're, like, mentally weak. Uh, like, real mentally weak. Especially, like, nothing critical was even said. The match was hella boring and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's one of my big, uh, crit issues right now. Like, that I'm gonna get into a little bit later. But, you know, these people get on stream and they play like shit. And they expect you to be like hyped to, to, to like commentate their shit. I remember like there was a time when people were really hyped to be like that marquee match that everybody's watching. You know, everybody was really anxious to put their foot forward. And and you know what? I think a lot of the, a lot of the issues that I have really just boils down to the fact that it's a fucking generational gap, man. Like I'm from the arcade era. You know what I'm saying? Like. We didn't need headphones to block out noise, and you know what I mean. We, it was just like only the strong survived, like mentally, like 
You know what I mean? If, if you got your shit scraped or people were saying shit about you, y you fucking just leveled your shit up. And you showed that dude what was up the next time it was time to throw down. You know what I'm saying? And I, I'm, I'll, I'll even tell a story about this, actually. My very first tournament ever. I was only 17 years old, and this was a Marvel 2 tournament at Silvercoin. First tournament ever, right? And I wasn't good. I wasn't good at all. I was scrubby. Crazy scrubby. I go to this tournament, right? I get knocked into losers. And my opponent in losers was Stiltman. For all you OG people who remember who Stiltman was. And I had overheard him talking uh, about who his next opponent was, which was me. And I was literally probably standing no more than two or three yards away from this person. And so I hear him talking about me, and someone's like, well, who do you play next? And he goes, oh, I, I play that guy, and he's pointing to me, obviously. And the guy goes, oh, well, is he good? And, and then Silman was just like, no, he's not good at all. He's not, he doesn't know anything. He's not that good. Now, I, I got pissed off, you know, of course, because he's, he's just talking about me like I can't hear him or something. But he, we play, I lose. And I got on SRK, and I, you know, I was just dissing the shit out of him. And you know this this caused you know a bunch of a bunch of issues or whatever what have you. But what I did after that was I stepped my shit up. I continued to progress my, in my abilities and my skill and all that shit. And I beat his ass when I played him again. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what it is. Who cares who says what? Honestly, use that shit as motivation. If you think that. I'm this big bad bully who doesn't give a fuck about your Street Fighter game or whatever. Uh, well, you're right about one thing. I definitely don't give a fuck about your Street Fighter game. Y'all motherfuckers need to set that shit up. That's real deal, man. And I'm tired of these motherfuckers getting on stream, playing like shit, playing this whack-ass bullshit. We're trying to showcase the talent up here, and y'all motherfuckers are playing like this is some fucking... I don't know, you're getting up there and taking a big fat shit. That's for real. And... Myself included, I'm taking a big fat shit, but at least I can say that I'm trying to level my shit up. I'm not sitting here whining and complaining about what people think about my ability. I don't give a fuck what anybody says, because I know, at my best, none of you motherfuckers are fucking with me to begin with. So I don't need that adoration or that, that fucking hold my hand type shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been knowing that I'm good. Maybe you need to find that fucking inner confidence. You know, stop being a bitch. That goes for so many people, man. You know, these are the same dudes that would not survive at Silvercoin. They would not survive at these other arcades, man. These are like those... They remind me of those fucking, like, Conquest scrubs from Soul Calibur 2. You know, those guys that would sit there in their big-ass clique, not play each other, everything's all kosher. You know, you can have your hand in everyone else's pocket and shit, and all this weird suspect-ass activity and shit. And then when you come up to play the game, because it's a two-player arcade game, you guys are like, nah, man, no, nah, no, nah, don't, this, this ain't that kind of party. Nah, motherfucker, this is Street Fighter. This is Marvel. These are fighting games. You're doing this shit because you, you know, you want to show that you're better than somebody. You want to showcase your abilities. You want to show that you're the best. Or maybe that's what it, what I think it is. Maybe that's what it used to be. It ain't, that, it ain't like that no more up here. We got these fucking bitch ass babies that need to, their bibs and shit. But anyway, that's all I gotta say, man. Catch y'all later.